right, uh, today I'm going to be reading a passage from the novel Into the Wild. It's written by John Krakauer. It was uh, published in 1995. It's a great book. Everybody should read it. Um, the novel uh, tells about the life of Chris McCandless, because it's a true story. This person actually did all these things. Um, he basically ran away from modern society to find himself like, through nature. And um, what this passage I'm about to read you is basically his like, point of view. So many people live within unhappy circumstances and yet will not take the initiative to change their situation because they're conditioned to a life of security, conformity, and, constant, and uh, conservatism, all of which may appear to give one peace of mind, but in reality nothing is more damaging to the adventurous spirit of a man than a secure future. The very basic core of a man's living spirit is his passion for adventure. The joy comes from our encounters. The very... The very basic core of a man's living spirit is his passion for adventure. The joy comes, the joy, the life, okay. <laughs> the joy of life comes from our encounters with new experiences, and hence there is no greater joy than to have an endlessly changing horizon for each day to have a new and different sun. If you want to get more out of life, you must lose your inclination for monotonous security and adopt the healthier, seltzer style of life, that which may first appear to be crazy, but once you become accustomed to such a life, you'll see its full meaning and its incredible beauty. And so in short, get out and hit the road. I can guarantee you'll be very glad you did. And, but I fear you'll ignore my advice. I fear that you'll follow the same inclination in the future and thus fail to discover the wonderful things that God has placed around us to discover. Don't settle down and sit in one place. Move around, be nomadic. Make each day a new horizon. You are still going to live a long time, and it would be a shame if you didn't take the opportunity to revolutionize your life and, to, and move into an entirely new realm of experience. You're wrong to think if joy emanates only and principally from human relationships. God has placed it all around us. It is in everything and anything we might experience. We just have to have the courage to turn against our habitual lifestyles and engage in unconventional living. My point is that you do not need me or anyone else to bring this new type of life into your life. It's simply waiting out there for you to grasp it. And all you have to do is reach for it. The only person you are fighting is yourself in your stubbornness to engage in new things.